How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Trucker Tim trucking vlog. Woohoo! Now I've got something a bit different for you today. As you can tell, we're starting in the daylight. It's actually, hang on, let's just check. Quarter to three in the afternoon. And you're probably wondering, Trucker Tim, why are you starting a vlog at quarter to three in the afternoon? Well, I've already done a full day's work, but now we're just about to leave the yard. We've got this trailer on the back. We're going up to Newcastle. We're going to have a night out. I'll explain a bit more when we get going up the road anyway, but we need to nip round to the other yard, get a little bit of ad blue in here. So we've got about oh, half a tank. But yeah, we'll nip round there, get some ad blue in. We're going to stop at the garage up the road as well, get a little bit more diesel. It's got three quarters, but I just want to top it off. Top it off, top it off to make sure I've got enough to make the whole trip. We're going to Newcastle. Yeah, I'll explain more about it and what we've done this morning already once we get pumping up the road. I've tucked all my straps in for the long old ride up the A1 at four, four hours, 15 minutes. We're going to have to do a printout in a minute and just see if we're going to have enough time. Enough, well, we've got enough to spread over and it starts till five o'clock this morning. So we've got till eight o'clock tonight. We just got to see if we've got enough driving time left. I'll tell you what we've done, what I've done this morning already when we get in the cab. All right, let's go and get our blue first. Oh, God, I'm excited. This is where we're going. <laughs> see if we can smash this out tonight. Trucker Tim is going to be sleeping there tonight. Let's go around and get some ad blue. So I got to the ad blue pump. I was going to film. Completely forgot. Just completely went out of my head that I was uh, vlogging. I mean, literally only just started the vlog, so that's a good start, isn't it? This is us. This is us. We're out. See you later, work. See you tomorrow afternoon when I get back. Put them up so you can see a bit better. See you when I get back tomorrow afternoon. Ooh, let's see what this little vlog has installed then, guys. So yeah, we're going to stop at the garage up here where we usually fill up sometimes. And, uh, topper up we've got three quarters i mean that'll probably be enough to get around but i'd rather just go with a full tank and i know that'll that'll definitely do us a few bits to eat a few bits to drink i've got food bits in my bag but i've got a tall trailer on so it's quite close under here i think i've had this trailer under here before we're under we're under all right then let's do i'll put this in here like this so I don't have to hold it. 144 litres. Let's go pan and get some goodies. Get some water. There's a basket. Oh God. Pot noodle. Lovely healthy selection. <laughs> sort of freshen up in the toilets as well. So I've got my water for my pot noodle when we get powered up, which is here. A couple of two hard boiled, cup, couple of two hard boiled eggs, two hard boiled eggs. I haven't got a fridge in here. I have in my new lorry that's coming. Um, so I'll put these on the doorstep outside and that'll keep them cool. Well, I'll put my drinks out there though. Stick it in there though, shut the door. And it's outside, not in the warm cab. Right, let's go to Newcastle. There's our route. Look at that bad boy. Let's punch on up then. Let's go. Yeah, so I've always wanted to do a night out vlog. And obviously they don't come around very often. There's one of our lorries, look. Right, look at this, look. Screw around, boy. Let's get to Newcastle. Well, it's Gateshead actually, but it's close enough, isn't it? It's close enough. What happened today was, so I've done my first two jobs, and then it's like, oh, tomorrow you're going to Gateshead. I was like, God, that's a long way. And then I said, can I run, can I go now? Can I run up there tonight? And he said, well, if you, got, if, you, if you want to. I said, oh yeah, please. Went down to Harlow this morning, picked a load up from Harlow, down the M11, back to the yard, unloaded that. And then we went to Milton Keynes, shot across to Milton Keynes, loaded up there, come back, unloaded that, swap trailers, and now we're off up to Gateshead. 
very good and very, very nice. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do as well. We'll reset the fuel data, see how many miles per gallon we get out of this trip. So we're going all the way up there, empty. So we're gonna have a good miles per gallon on the way up. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where we're gonna get. I'm just gonna keep driving until my time's up. 20 past three now. So I hope you're all well, guys. Hope you're enjoying the vlogs. If you are, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Love to read all your comments. But we're settled in. We've got food for tonight. We've got some lunch for tomorrow. Plenty of drinks. Drinks are the most important thing. Can't go without a drink. What else have we got? Oh, I've got this. Oh, God! What the hell? That's just fell out of there. I'll fix that later. I don't know where we're going to be tonight. I don't know where we're stopping. At this moment, I have no clue. You can fast forward the video on and see if you want. <laughs> but I can't. I don't know. I love it. I love it. You rejoin me at the A1. There she is. Oh, not that side. That side. She's going to take me all the way up to Gateshead. Yes, she is. Go on! What are you doing? Jesus. Oh. Are you going to stop, Mr. Bin Man? <laughs> They're looking at me funny. Right, anyway, here we go then. Let's get on the A1. We're going to be on here for a long time. Oh, God, look at this. It's very, uh, very rare I get on here at this time. Very rare. It's usually middle of the night when we're getting on here, isn't it? Go on, TSA. We need to move over. There's a slow moving crane just up there. Thank you, mate. Give a flash the old indicators to say, and thanking you. Yeah, so where we're going is literally just off the A1. So it's just off this road, but it is. Dun, 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 Satna says. 186 miles. <laughs> so we've got 186 miles on this long straight road. It could be worse though. We could be going as slow as that crane. Imagine that. That's a beast. Let's see if we can get by this TSA or not. I think we're, I think we're getting him. It looks like he's loaded. So we need a little uphill bit like this. And then look, watch. We gain on him a bit more because he's loaded. He's got his axle down. Oh, it's brake for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. What a sensible lorry driver. Didn't flash me in, though. But thanks for easing off. This is me for the next three hours or so, then. What should I do? Oh, I suppose I'll drive. Oh, I'll overtake this car. That's what we'll do. Now he's going to speed up and just sit beside us, look. If they do that, I'll tell you what helps a little bit. I don't go into their lane, but just sort of drift ever so slightly, just a little bit. Just drift towards them a little bit. Obviously, stand in your lane. And then they go, ooh, ooh, what's, where's he going? And break. But if you don't do that, they'll probably just sit beside you for 186 miles. Oh, he's got a puncher. Thinking about it, this might be, well, it will be, the last night out in this lorry. I think I'll have my new one very, very soon. Fingers crossed. But yeah, we will, um, this will be the last night out in this particular lorry. Well, that's sad. That's sad, isn't it? Oh. It's quite good living around the Peterborough area, especially on the week before Truck Fest, because you see no end of nice trucks around, especially on the A1 here, because they come from wherever they're based around the UK, and they usually like, try and get loads to, from, or around like the local Peterborough, Cambridge area. And they're all like just circling around, waiting for the weekend, doing like little local loads, ready to dive into Truck Fest on Friday afternoon. I love it. Well, we're making good progress. We're at the M62 now. These things have just started flashing with 60 on. Oh, great. It's now 20 to 6 in the evening. We have cracked on at the A1. Oh, my thing's telling me we've got a bit of traffic. I don't think you can see the red approaching. Poo. 
Ooh, we was making well good time. This is the first hold up I've had. Oh, I can see some lights up here, some flashing lights. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Oh, he's gone in there, look. Cool, look at that. Where's the front bit gone? <laughs> She's knacked. Looks like everyone's okay anyway. It's the main thing. If you look at the uh, shut nav, we're about halfway. All the dark blue is what we've done. And then the lighter blue is obviously how far we've got to go. Couple of tones for you all, maybe. Here we go. Just let him go by. Couple of tones. Well, I'm still going. <laughs> I've not stopped. We're at Liming Bar now. Liming Bar, Lemming Bar, something like that. Starting to see some lovely hills now in the distance. See some over there, look. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Da -da -da -dee -dee. I keep like spotting, well, people keep spotting me and they're like last minute flash wave and like give me tones. But I don't think they, I don't think they expect to see me up here. They're like, no, no, it can't be. And they're like, da, 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 da. love it. It's been a long time since I've driven a truck at half past six in the evening. It has been a long time. You know, I've got windy in the last half hour. And colder, it's nine degrees up here. Whew. Hope the old night here works. Not had it on for a while. Well, this is Scotch Corner, this is. It's the A66, isn't it? Yes. Gateshead, still 39 miles. Oh my word. It's a good, she's a good way up. She's a good way up. I've been up to the top side of Scotland before. Elgin, there it was there. Elgin, that was it. That's the furthest north I've been in a truck. Elgin. Yeah. We're almost there now. We come off here in two miles. In two miles, we come off the A1. Angel of the North, I can see it. I can see the Angel of the North there, straight ahead. Straight there. It's always a bit disappointing. You expect it to be massive, don't you? I remember, I remember last time I come up, I was like, oh, that's tiny. I've decided anyway, guys, to just plow through. I've plowed on, just have enough time to get parked up at um, Team Valley. So that's what I've done. I've just plowed through, and we've just got enough time. There it is, Angel of the North on the vlog. Yeah! Hello! God, we've done well today. Luckily, we had a good run, apart from that little accident near the M62 there. I don't know what they're doing here. Can anybody inform me what they're doing here on the A1 at Gateshead? Trucker Tim is in Gateshead. 14 and a half hours. <laughs> don't do days like that very often here. 8th Avenue. Didn't have no bother last time. There's a couple of trucks here, look. Logging truck. If I go right here, that'll... That'll stop thieves getting my... Ooh, that'll stop thieves getting my diesel, won't it? Well, it'll make it harder for them anyway. Bosh! Half a seven. Turn her off. Oh my God. That was a proper drive. I'm just taking all that in. Four and a half hours. All right, it's paperwork all done. That way. I think where we go is literally just up there on the left hand side. So we won't have to get up early in the morning, which is good. 0 0.9 miles away. Where's the kettle? You arrive at your destination at 7.43 p.m. No, I won't. I'm not going anywhere, sat nav. The kettle! I'm gonna unplug the sat nav so we can plug this in. Plug her in beeping at me. Oh, I'm gonna get my water boiling because I'm ready for this. Oh, oh no, I've just spilled the water. Bloody hell, I'm gonna switch it on yet in this fizzing. The water is boiling for my pot noodle. Oh, I ain't got a fork. Oh, I ain't fought this through. I ain't got a fork. Oh, 
don't know what I'm looking around for. I'm thinking a fork's going to pop up somewhere. I'll have to think of something. While the trucker's tea box kettle's doing this thing, I'll show you quickly where we're parked. Oh, it's freezing. It's starting to rain as well. That's where we're going to spend the night. There appears to be a mattress over there. And while that's there, it's been dumped. Let me get my gloves. I need to open the back door up so people don't slash my curtains. They can see what's inside. Put a glove on. Put this door around like this. Oh. oh, maybe not. We'll have to put this on. Then. If it'll open, check for cars. There we go. We'll shut this one back up. As long as there's one open, it don't matter which. And that's how I'll leave it tonight. So people can see in the back there. If they're on the prowl, they can see I'm empty. Oh, let's hop back in. Absolutely freezing out there. Get the night heater on. Yeah, nice and toasty. Anyway, I'm gonna get my pot noodle ready with some bread. Let's put some lights on. Get my pot noodle. There's my bread. Got a tiger loaf. Tiger bloomer. <laughs> nice. I'm not gonna film too much here tonight because um, this is gonna continue on tomorrow, this vlog. So you'll be with me again when I wake up in the morning here. Let you know how I got on through the night. And um, yeah. And we're going to load up and then get back down the A1 again. Now, what am I going to use to eat this bloody pot noodle with? Fingers? Oh, very good. That'll do. Now, all I could find was this spoon. So I'm going to have to spoon it in. You're supposed to put this back on the top, isn't it? That's really good. Boils really quick. I've got this other one that I had before. This one it takes about half hour to boil. Bloody thing. So there we go, guys. That's the pot noodle finished off. I'm feeling much better. A couple of cakes as well I had for afters. Do you do you call it afters or dessert? I call it both. Sometimes I say afters, sometimes dessert. Had about half a loaf of bread. <laughs> I was starving. Now I'm just gonna have a little drink. Yeah, and I'm gonna get tidied up <clears throat> and get tucked up in my bed. Put the curtains round and have a good night's sleep, hopefully. Fingers crossed with any luck. And I will speak to you guys in the morning. So we'll end this day here. Hope you've enjoyed the first part. I'll see, well, for you, it's going to be like two seconds, but for me, it's going to be nine hours, eight, no, that's seven or eight hours. I'll speak to you in the morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, hey. I completed my night out. That log lorry's gone. Let's get this other curtain round. So the time is, what is the time? Quarter to seven. Let's get my seat sorted. There we go, I've made my bed. I had an absolutely awesome night's sleep, guys. Honestly. Yeah, it was really, really nice sleep. Feeling refreshed. Didn't wake up once. Right, so we need to go and shut the back door and check, make sure everything is uh, okay, not been tampered with overnight, make sure the pin's not been pulled or anything, but I doubt it has. But we will go and check what we need to do. We'll get her wound up. Hope she starts and got a flat battery because I had the night heater on all night. Oh, started like a dream. Put the card in. Let's start out now. We had 11 hours, 10 minutes, I think that just said here. She had 11 hours off. No. Do a bit of paperwork as well before we set off. Need to get our drinks and stuff out that door as well. I'm very thirsty. There's only trouble with the night heater. Just after enough, give you a dry mouth, dries the air out. Put these back properly. Keep it all nice, keep it all nice. Let's go. Yeah, we just want to check around, make sure they're all still on, not been tampered with. This is the important one. Some people like to pull this and then when you drive off, you drop your trailer, but that's all good. Safety clips in. Very good. There we go. Very good, very nice. Oh yeah, let's get the drinks out. There we go. 
out the fridge. Oh, thanks. Bosh. So yeah, they're nice and cold now. It's lovely and toasty in the cab because I had the night heater on all night. Yeah, these have been outside the cab in the door well and they're nice and cold. <laughs> Just need to sort this curtain out and then we'll head round to the collection point. Right, come on then. We drive again. There's something about driving after sleeping in your lorry. There's something about it. It just feels good. <clears throat> I've always thought that. Like I did used to I used to do lots of nights out on my previous job. But there's something about driving your lorry after sleeping in it. No, it just feels good. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really explain it. Let me know in the comments if any other lorry drivers feel the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it just feels good. Right here. Park down there as well. There's loads of space to park down Team Valley. I think you can park anywhere on here, actually. We've got Tyneside Transport down the end here also. Look at all the UPS vans loading up. Hmm, I want to be around the back here, you see. I'm going to spin it back down there. Probably no one here yet. God knows. Right. Let's get some curtains undone then. Well, a curtain. Just spoke to the chap over there. He said he can push them across. He's got long, he's got really long tines on his fork truck. So he can do it all from this side. Yes! So there we go. All opened up, ready for loading. I've got the sat nav plumbed in for the uh, journey back down. All that way back down again that like we did last night. Whew. Very good and very, very nice. Looking forward to the drive back. 217 miles. We're loading. Good oh boy, look at that old forklift. Heister or something. What beast. All these lorries are getting loaded up here. Just watching them. So yeah, we're about half loaded now, so won't be here too much longer. Then we'll get back down the A1. Right, let's get back down the road. Wind the old girl up. I've got the sat nav plumbed in, ready to roll. Woo, we'll get you on the head in a minute. 24 pallets we've got on board. All the way back down now. Just like that. Right. Come on then, let's go! Well, was it revving so hard? Change gear, thank you. Da, 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 da. I've thoroughly enjoyed my trip so far. I slept really well in the truck. I, I really did. I had like an awesome night's sleep. Didn't even wake up once. I'm gonna left here. Sat nav says we're going to be back at quarter one. God, quarter one. Hmm. Yeah. Right, let's go. Quarter one. Might be a bit later than that because I might stop somewhere. I might even have to have a 45 minute break if I don't make it back in my four and a half. Didn't go to McDonald's this time. Last time we came here, I walked down to McDonald's in the retail park just through the back there. We had a pot noodle last night. Oh, it looks a bit busy up on the A1. There's one of Carwright brothers just going across the top there. Do you see that? They're at that job. They're, 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 they're getting excited. <laughs> Their yard is next to that job we do in Lincoln. You know the job we do in Lincoln sometimes? We have to back in off the road. And then we go down and go round that roundabout to come back to get out. And I've got a follower there. There's one of their trucks. Yeah, look, look at the traffic. Well, it's 20 to 9, so there's still going to be a little bit of rush hour traffic. I'm having that. Go, 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 go. 
All right, here we go then. Straight onto the A1. Bounce on down. I wonder how much weight we've got on. Cheers, mate. Couple of, couple of indicator winks. Manners, look. Very nice. Wagon drag. Could give him a couple of tones on that, couldn't we? Under here. Make him jump. Hmm, yeah, we're definitely not getting back in our four and a half, are we? That's for sure. I think this is a follower here. He just give me loads of tones when he come flying by. I weren't recording. Katum Logistics. It's a nice Renault. I'm actually faster than him or whatever he's just letting me come by. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's good to meet you, mate. Right, we're on a bit of a diversion. A little bit of deviation. You can see that, diverted traffic for the self use M1. The A1 shut at Doncaster. It was on my sat-nav, but my boss rang me as well, and he said, A1 shut at Doncaster, find an alternative route. So that's what I've done. I come off the A1, down the M1, we're gonna go down the M1, come off at workshop, cut through there, and then get back on there. Yes, that's what I think I should do. I've seen no end of you guys today, getting loads of tones. <laughs> Talking of tones, I think it's about time you had a couple yourselves. So yeah, under this underpass, we'll give it a couple of a uh, couple of blasts. Kit Kat, have a break, have a Kit Kat. So yeah, we're just going under the M62 now. Oh, perfect. No one beside us. Perfect. Listen, ready, proper tones under the tunnel. Woo! <laughs> They're so loud. I can't wait to do them in a tunnel. Still yet to go through a tunnel. I did just call that a tunnel, but it was more an underpass. Can't wait to get in a tunnel with these tones. Tunnel tones, we'll call it. Tunnel tones. We stopped at the Angel of the North to do a little video. Now, I've not included that in the vlog, um, but if you want to go and watch it, Head over to my TikTok, if it's on there. It's coming, if it's not on there, it's coming. It'll be on my TikTok. I'll call it North Angel or Angel North or something like that. Oh, that was a Peer UK. Peer UK suction excavator people. I'll film their T-cab. What a lovely truck that is. It's like, probably the best truck I've filmed, to be honest. Here's the A1 again. Hello, A1. I've missed you. Not really. I hate the A1, it's such a boring road. Oh, nice little deviation there. Deviation. Go on, old girl. Oh yeah, there's so many miles we've done. We've done, since we left last night, 363 miles. 363. And we've done, how many miles per gallon? Eight. Was that 8.5? 8.5! That's quite good. 8.5. That's quite good considering I've been giving it some beans, to be honest. We'll have to stop for half hour break soon. I had 15 minutes while I was at the Angel of the North. Um, and we're going to need half hour. We're not going to get back in our four and a half. We're going to be about 20 minutes short, so... Yeah, we'll stop half hour somewhere. We shall see where, I don't know yet. I'm just gonna just gonna keep on trucking, see where we stop. Well, done three hours 50 driving. We're just at Colsterworth now, so I'm gonna stop here. Pull in here, have half an hour. <clears throat> we ain't gonna get back. We're gonna be about, like I say, about 20 minutes short. Whoosh. Pull in here for half hour, see what's in here. Might be some nice trucks in here. <clears throat> Might be able to get some content for TikTok. If there's a nice truck in here, might be able to do a video on something. I'm always on the prowl for content, especially for TikTok. I'm always like, ooh, what can we film today? How do you get in there? I forgot, oh, over there. Why is everybody looking at me funny? It's not one way, is it? How do you get in? Oh, we're in already. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm doing right here or not. I don't really know. That's nice. 590? 
I didn't know they'd done a 590. Hmm. Looks like they do. There's the truck wash. I have been through the truck wash here once. Where shall we park? We'll park over here, look. We'll just park randomly. Here we go. Selected this spot. Right, let's have a half an hour. 12.40 on to break. Oh. There we go, we've had 34 minutes here. So we can take it off break. As you can see, we've done three hours 53 driving. We've had 52 minutes break in total with the 15 minutes had earlier at the Angel of the North. I don't know what these vans are doing here. They've all sort of come in one after another and just sort of parked next to each other and sitting in the vans. A bit random, but... And also, every truck that's gone in to that um, truck wash has been clean. I mean, that's not particularly dirty, is it? But literally, everyone I've seen, I've seen about four going there since I've been here, and they've all been clean. Let's get out of here. I think I can get out that way. I've seen everybody going out that way. So we'll do that. It says quarter past two back to the yard, so... Let's crack on. Belt up. Just tried to put the engine on and it's already on. <laughs> what am I playing at? Had a little nap, done a little bit of TikTok. Bits and bobs needed to do. Now it's time to push on back to the yard. There's not actually any sort of like guidance as to where, which way to go in there, sort of free for all. Yes, make sure you go A1 south, Tim. Don't be going back up north again. <gasps> Those are in there. Those that are in there. Ooh. I didn't know they were there. A little bit close. Anyway, is he going to give me some tones? No, he's not. <laughs> Indicator is on. People are moving over. Listen to that. About trucking sounds, message me. He's got me some stickers from Global Signs. I've got some Trucker Tim stickers coming, so might give a few out at Truck Fest. But for now, I'm going to get this truck back to the yard. The journey back seems to be a lot longer than the journey up last night. But having said that, we did go on a diversion. That would have, that would have cost us a little bit of time. Maybe it's because I was excited to get up there. <laughs> get the cruise control on. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, we're almost back at the yard now. We're at Guyon. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. I just called in to uh, Transtech. Yep. I'm going to give these out at Truck Fest. When's this video going out? Friday. So, yeah, if you're watching this Friday at Truck Fest this weekend, look out for me. And if I've got any left, you can have a Trucker Tim sticker. What a lovely trip it's been. What time did we leave yesterday? We left at half three, didn't we, yesterday? Was it half three? Yeah, half three. So it took 24 hours <laughs> with my 11 hours off. Why is he kicking his car? I think they want this one unloading at the new yard. So you'll see the new yard on this vlog. I don't think, no, the new yard hasn't been on a vlog yet. So yeah, you'll see that in a moment. We've landed at the new yard. So this is the Weybridge hut here. Yep, new yard and that's the Weybridge hut. Uh, 27 and a half ton overall. Let's go out, get weighed in, get some curtains undone. There we are, we've safely returned. <laughs> safely returned from the Newcastle. All right, how do we work this Weybridge? Menu, that one. Preset weight for first weight, 16 ton. Okay, second weight, okay. Yes, here we go. Now we just need to back her into position. Oh, there's a wall there. I can't see a lot, if I'm honest. Blind side in it. There we go, might as get some curtains undone. Boom. 
rid of stiff old curtains on this old trailer. There we go. We're all unloaded. I couldn't film any unloading because it was a confidential load and I couldn't really show you too much. And apparently they don't want me filming too much around here, so okay, whatever. So yeah, we're all unloaded, done up the curtains. We now need to take this truck to the other yard, park it up, and then we can go home. Yes. Let me get this off now. Get the truck out of here. Get a park to and go home. Go see my little boy, bless him, little Leo. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm on the path. Oh, three-wheeler. <laughs> three-wheeler. You see that? Do you hear it? I'm on the path, look. Awful driving, Timbo. Awful driving. Did you see that three-wheeler? <laughs> it was like... Let's go find Joshy B. Megatones! <laughs> Megatones! I missed my button then. I was so keen to give him tones, I was slipping on the old button. <laughs> oh, we're nearly back now. Round trip is complete. In we come. Where's Joshy Boy? It's four o'clock in the afternoon. We used half a tank of diesel. Oh, we're back. We'll park there then. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Nice reversing. My car's still here. That didn't get nicked overnight. That's good. Whoa, watch that post. God, that'll be handy when it come all that way. And then when I get back to the yard, knock my wing mirror off. There we go. And there is Joshy Boy. Here he comes, give him a couple of times. Oh God. I'm back, Josh, I'm back, I made it. We've got a busy day tomorrow. I have. Yeah, and me, because in the morning we're washing the straight <laughs> truck. Oh yeah, he rang you then. Yeah, Charlie just yeah. said, you wash it. TikTok. <laughs> God, he knows what's happening. Well, I've got a job first thing. Yeah, but what you're going to be back before eight, he said. Oh, about seven. Yeah. Can you, like, leave earlier so you oh, can I, wash I it with think, me? I, don't, I will wash it with you. I don't yeah, know how I can get in till Charlie's six. Charlie's crashed it today. I know. I get, doing. Look, four o'clock, Josh, my card's coming out. That's late day for that me, isn't it? Makes a change. You've normally gone home by one. Oh, well, well, twelve. Eleven. <laughs> it's usually, getting worse. I usually start AM, finish AM. Yeah, but you're getting worse. Yeah. Card, oh, here he is. Hey. Oh, the tones. Oh. Right, do you think that car's going to start? Place your bets, Josh. My car. I don't think it will. It will. The interior light was on. When I um. Did you turn it off? No. Hmm. I thought it was at that point. It's probably dead. Away. I did have the battery off over road sweep. And it did deadlock. You didn't take it off because you told me how much of a pain it was. It, they are to get out. Well, I hope you put it back. Right, I got to do some paperwork, so I'll see you later. Uh -oh. Let me finish this vlog. Go and do what you're doing. What's that doing? Right, just go away. I got to finish my vlog. More important than you. <laughs> He's not happy. Right, let's get some paperwork done. Finished at four fifteen. Nine and a half hours. Not a bad little day. Feels longer than that though. Don't know why, it just, just feels longer. There we go guys. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. My first night out vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. I think I just said that, but I said it again. I'm gonna get this paperwork done, get home, get something proper to eat and a shower. I need a shower. <sighs> I'll speak to you on the next one guys. If, say, if Like I say, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment as well. I'll read all your comments. Oh, and if you want to be a Trucker Tim member, hit the join button down below. $2.99 a month, extra perks. <laughs>
you don't have to if you don't want to. It's just an extra little thing if you want to do it. And it helps, supports me as well. I think I'm, I'm saving up that money to get a GoPro for myself as well. So, yeah, help Trucker Tim get a GoPro. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button for plenty more vlogs, videos, and all sorts of things to come with Joshy Boy. I'll catch you on the next one, guys.